What if I told you China might have just pulled off the most unexpected semiconductor breakthrough of the decade? For years, the US and its allies believed they had Huawei and China's chip industry locked out of advanced semiconductor manufacturing. No EUV machines, no access to cutting-edge chips, no way to compete with the likes of TSMC and Samsung. But guess what? Huawei just confirmed a secret trial of an EUV lithography machine, one they built themselves. And this isn't just any EUV machine. It's powered by an unconventional, homegrown technology that could shatter the West's technological blockade and potentially reshape the global semiconductor industry forever. And the most shocking part? The first trial production is set to begin in 2025. Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how China pulled this off, why it's a massive threat to U.S. tech dominance, and what this means for the future of the semiconductor war. For decades, the semiconductor industry has been dominated by a select few players, TSMC, Intel, Samsung, and ASML. And at the heart of modern chip making is a single ultra-complex machine, the EUV lithography system. These machines, made exclusively by ASML, are the crown jewel of chip production, costing over $350 million each and requiring extreme precision to function. But in 2020, the U.S. government blocked China's access to these machines, betting that without EUV technology, China would remain 10 to 15 years behind in semiconductor manufacturing. But that assumption might have just blown up in their faces. Because Huawei, despite all odds, has reportedly developed its own EUV lithography system. And unlike ASML's technology, Huawei's approach is cheaper, homegrown, and potentially a game changer. So what's really going on? Let's break it down. Traditional EUV versus Huawei's approach. Let's first understand how EUV lithography works. Traditional EUV machines, like those from ASML, use tin droplets that are hit by high-powered lasers, creating plasma that emits extreme ultraviolet light at a 13.5 nanometer wavelength. This light is then used to etch impossibly tiny patterns onto silicon wafers, enabling chips as small as 3 nanometers and beyond. But here's the problem. ASML's EUV machines are insanely expensive, over $350 million each. They are technologically complex, with thousands of precision-engineered parts. And they are controlled by a tightly regulated Western supply chain, meaning no sales to China. Now, Huawei's method is completely different. Instead of using high-energy CO2 lasers, Huawei has developed an alternative approach using laser-induced discharge plasma, LDP, technology. Here's how it works. Instead of tin droplets, Huawei vaporizes tin between two electrodes. A high-voltage discharge then strikes the vaporized tin, creating plasma that emits EUV light at 13.5 mm wavelength. This method is far cheaper and requires fewer moving parts than ASML's traditional approach. And if this sounds like a small difference, it's not. Because if Huawei can scale this up, they could manufacture EUV machines for a fraction of the cost, breaking ASML's monopoly and changing the semiconductor industry forever. How did China get here? The development of this technology didn't happen overnight. China has been quietly investing billions into semiconductor self-sufficiency under President Xi Jinping's Made in China 2025 plan. After the U.S. sanctions in 2020, which cut off Huawei's access to advanced chips from TSMC and Samsung, Huawei and other Chinese firms went into overdrive. Here's what they did. SMIC, China's leading chipmaker, pushed forward with 7 mm and 5 mm chip production without EUV machines. Huawei developed its own 5 mm and 7 mm chips with SMICs despite all odds. China began acquiring key semiconductor patents and building its own supply chain. Now, with a homegrown EUV lithography machine in trial production, China may have just cracked the final piece of the puzzle. And the implications are staggering. What this means for the future of semiconductors. So, why does this really matter? China could mass-produce 3 nanometer chips by 2026. With trial production beginning in Q3 2025, Huawei aims for full-scale production by 2026. That means China could start making 3 nanometer chips without needing ASML's machines. This would disrupt the entire semiconductor hierarchy, challenging TSMC, Samsung, and even Intel. A new era of AI-powered devices, 
3 nm chips are faster more power efficient and essential for ai driven tech like ai powered smartphones autonomous vehicles advanced data centers if china controls its own supply of these chips it gains a massive competitive advantage in the ai race geopolitical and economic shifts this isn't just about technology it's about global power for years, the U.S. has used semiconductor sanctions as a weapon, controlling who gets access to cutting-edge chips. But if China achieves EUV independence, it could reduce reliance on Western tech, build a self-sufficient semiconductor ecosystem, strengthen alliances with emerging markets. This could shift global trade patterns and challenge U.S. technological dominance. Now, before we assume Huawei has already won, there are still major obstacles ahead. Scaling up production. Building one EUV machine is different from mass producing them at ASML levels. Supply chain issues. China still relies on some Western components, which the US could further restrict. Yield challenges. Producing three nanometer chips at high yields is extremely difficult. TSMC and Samsung still struggle with it. So while this breakthrough is huge, China still has a long road ahead before it can fully compete. So what does this all mean? Huawei's homegrown EUV technology marks a turning point in the semiconductor war. For China, this is a massive step toward independence. For the US, it's a wake-up call. And for the semiconductor industry, this could be one of the biggest disruptions in decades. But what do you think? Is this the moment China finally catches up in the chip race? Or do you think the US will find a way to slow them down again? Drop a comment below and let's discuss.